This video is almost an afterthought to the previous one. It could have been part of the previous one. I ended the previous video by saying that perhaps many people could come to adopt natural theology. They might do that from the religious side or from the atheist side. They might see it as a better way, a truer way that combines the elements of uh, religion and atheism to bring us closer to the truth. As an aside, the philosopher Hegel had this idea of thesis, antithesis, synthesis. So the idea might be that religion is the thesis, and then the thing that negates religion is the antithesis, but then the thing that somehow integrates those two things would be the uh, synthesis, and that would be natural theology. But be that as it may, the point I want to make is that if many people came to adopt and believe natural theology, and if there was discussions and discourse and papers written, in other words, if it developed into a kind of science, where, um, or a science, where people were free to state their opinions, state their beliefs, state their evidence, where there was discussion, I think that would be wonderful. I would think that I had succeeded beyond my wildest hopes. And if in time those discussions led to rejecting 50 or 80 percent of what I've said as wrong, still, it would be great. Because what's important is not the beliefs, but how we get those beliefs and how we hold those beliefs and how we revise those beliefs in the face of contradictory or new evidence. In other words, the epistemological method is perhaps more important than the conclusions. If we don't have any conclusions written in stone, especially conclusions written in stone that were concluded centuries or millennia ago, if we're free to follow the truth as we see it, and if we're free to reject anything we feel is untrue, just as when Einstein's theories were proven, part of Newton's theories were rejected. Now, they're still used because they're a good approximation, but the point is there was no slavish devotion to Newton. There was no condemning of Einstein as a heretic. So if we follow the truth, if there was a free exchange of ideas, if there was symposium, if there was papers, if this was conducted in the spirit of science, I would feel I had succeeded beyond my wildest hopes. So that's what would constitute success for me. And I guess that's what I'm trying to do, perhaps. Thank you.